Hi, so this is just a video I decided to record off the cuff since I'm setting up Philpedia for myself. I have this situation where I'm trying to make a reusable contract that I'm about to do with a client, but um, the services online that offer that kind of stuff aren't really working too well. So I decided I would just use a little dev site I have and just actually do it up. So I already imported the the form I made here. I made this in LibreOffice, which is similar to OpenOffice. Uh, and you see that it got uploaded and all that. I'm not going to explain the module too much because you can just read the documentation, but just sort of show you what I'm doing. You see that it read all the fields. That's cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to uh, content types I'm in Drupal. And I'm going to add a content type called contract. Description, client contracts. Uh, I don't really care about this because nobody else has access, so I just save and add fields. And then I'm basically just going to add fields for all this stuff. So uh, I don't need the body fields, so I'll just delete that. And well, this is just adding fields, so I'll pause it and come back in a second. Okay, I'm back. So as you can see, I've just added a bunch of fields uh, to match the ones here. And actually, the way that I figured out which fields I needed to add was using this, uh, this sample PDF link up here. That gives me a PDF where it just basically puts the field names over where the fields are going to fill in. So I still have that open. So you can see that. This is like my, my contract template. And it's got these these like sort of out of place names are the the sample output. I forgot to name this one, so that's why it just says text box one. But that's alright, because I know what it is. So uh yeah, so that's that. Let me close that out now. And so now I'm gonna map the fields. So I'm over back at the uh, at the PDF. I uploaded in fill PDF uh, and so like I'm just gonna edit business info and it's pretty easy to match these up because I name them pretty much the same I could have done I could have been a lot smarter here too like terms and days until invoice do that's really the same thing I could have done like a computed field in Drupal or something like that to make it more automatic but I didn't really care I just wanted to get something going and I figured I could improve it later so I just did everything that I'll have to just type it all in but this is even that is way better than what some of the reusable document services online can do so that was good enough for me right so we're setting this up this is the uh, the business info field so I just go to nodes because it's a content type and then let's see field is this oh it gives me two hmm kind of weird. Well, I'll just pick the one with the hyphens. That's more normal. And then I save that. And uh, again, this is just sort of a tedious thing where I just go and map all of them. There's, I'm not doing anything special here, so I'll just pause this again while I get these all filled in. Alright, awesome. So I got it all filled in. Actually, there were a couple of cool things to show here. For one, notice how Fancy terms again and fancy terms name actually use the same token. So that's neat because then I don't have to type it in twice to the to the when I create the content at least. You know when I create the, the contract entry. So that that's actually like if I did that on one of the online services I would have to type it in twice if I wanted it in two places. They just aren't like they're just not cut out for this I guess they're more they're digital signing services so it's not really surprising that this isn't their cup of tea it's just sort of an add-on but this is obvious this is what Philpedia does so it's first class functionality <laughs> so um, and I also put a label on this one work to be done so that's kind of a workaround for the bad PDF field name so that's really neat um, so then I can just remember what it is and then I, you see I put the right token and all that so, uh, okay, so we're ready to create a node now. I'm just going to go to add content, add a contract, and we'll 
we'll fill in some stuff. I'm gonna make my real one after this, obviously. We'll just put in whatever. Let's, uh, the title doesn't really matter. Just, just give it a fake contract. Business name, put in fill PDF service, business info. Postal code. Actually, it's more like this because I'm in Norway. And Norway. Client name for some client. One, two, three, first street. New York. Y. One. Uh, site anyway, so <laughs> no, seven. I should know my own number. You can see how much I rehearsed this, which was none. I just did it on a whim. Uh work to be done. One fill PDF. And I'm not saying whether this is the actual Thing that the contract I'm going to be creating is for or not, but um, but I got that idea from somewhere. So look forward to it if you if you think that that's what I meant. Yeah. So just put, um, put some amount. Not sure if that's going to fit in the field, but that'll be a good thing if it doesn't. You can see these terms do um, thirty terms. Actually, it's fifteen. First late day. 16 days. Temporary license length. I guess it's going to be 45 days. Okay, and I don't care about any of this stuff. So just save that. And then, okay, so we can see all that stuff. That's not important. We just need the node ID. So node 7, as we can see in the bar there. I'm just going to stick this in as the default node ID because. When I do that, just let's wait for this page to reload, and I'll continue that sentence. Then we get a nice link that says download this PDF filled with data from the default node. So that saves me a lot of trouble having to like build a link and all that. Obviously you can't really use this with end users, but for my purposes it suits me fine. Okay, so then it lets me download this. So I'll just download that. Um, I need to open this in in a different program because my Acrobat is acting up. Okay, and then, okay, we see that some stuff doesn't fit and the new lines aren't working too well in this thing here. But, yeah, I'll, I'll work that out. I probably, I think I know what's going on. Um, but, I mean, overall, it worked pretty well. Some of the fields are too small, that's something that I have to fix in the PDF template itself. I gotta make some font sizes smaller. But overall, like, this this isn't really much worse <laughs> than what I was getting. You'll notice there's no signature field or anything. That's because I actually am planning to send this out with um, a digital signing service. Uh, like, I'll use, I'll use their signature field placing because that works, but I just don't like their other their other templating stuff. It's really awkward. So, um, that's how I sort of am solving a real problem with Phil PDF. So, hopefully this video is useful in some way. I know it's not that uh, great or, like, detailed, but I figured I would try making something and see what people thought. So please give some feedback if this helped at all or if it totally didn't. I'm Kevin Kalan from Phil PDF Service, maintainer of the Phil PDF module in Drupal. Have a good day.